How not to create a Google business profile. Working with small business owners, I have seen so many mistakes when setting up their Google business profile. Nightmare scenarios include using the wrong address, not able to get verified as a business with Google, not being able to access their profile to edit it after they've already created it, their house appearing on Google Maps as the front of the business, and more. I am here to tell you what not to do and what to do instead to use your free Google business profile to ensure you are found by the clients that want you. Hello, I'm Amy Novick, a professional organizer, Google certified trainer, and productivity specialist. I empower business owners with Google solutions. In the comments below, let me know your questions about the Google business profile and how it works. Here are 10 things not to do when creating your Google business profile. Do not create your Google business profile before doing at least some keyword research for your business, industry, and local area. Remember that Google is a search engine, so you need to include the keywords in your business profile that your potential clients will be actually searching for. Do not procrastinate starting your Google business profile until all of your socials, website, and booking pages are complete. As soon as you are ready for some business, complete as much as you can of your Google business profile and put it out there. It takes time to get your business verified, and it takes time for the search algorithms to find you so you get seen on Google. You can update your profile anytime so long as you can log in. So just start it. Do not use just any old Gmail account to create your Google business profile. You will need consistent access to this account and you will need to know the password. If possible, use your work email account or a personal one that you use regularly. I have seen so many people not able to access their business profile because they don't know which email account they created it with. If you want help, I'm here to walk you through it. I have seen too many business owners make a second or third Google business profile because they can't access the first one they made, and then they have to merge or delete some. Don't create more work for yourself. Call me for help instead. Do not use a PO box for your business address or you won't get verified. Google business profiles are connected with Google Maps, so you absolutely need a physical address for your business. Do use your home address if that's where your office is so that you can get verified with Google. Then you can hide the address later on your business profile. Do not show your home address on your business profile unless you're a business that has people come to your actual home, like a hair salon in your basement. Instead, online and service-based businesses should hide your home or physical address on your profile so that your home, car, and front door do not appear on Google Maps for your business. To show a service-based business online, your location should list the cities and towns that you serve, including the ones farthest away, so that your service area will appear as an outline on Google Maps. Do not upload photos once and then never again. Google likes to know your business is up and running, so upload photos one to three times per week. Do not upload before and after photos of your client projects straight from your phone. Instead, use Canva or another template to add branding to your before and after photos before you upload them. Do not only upload stock photos because that's not really your business. Do include at least one photo of you because you are the owner and face of the company and people like to buy from people. Do upload a logo and a cover photo that match your website and branding as soon as you have them. Do not leave your products and services empty. Do list each of your main products and services with a related photo and description. This is another opportunity to include keywords for Google to search for you and your products and services. If possible, list prices and links to landing pages if you have them. Do not leave your website, socials, booking, and phone number all blank at the same time. Do include at least one to two ways for leads to contact you quickly and easily. You can turn on messaging within your Google business profile so that leads can communicate with you there if you don't have any other system set in place yet. 
do not ignore your Google Business Profile after it is set up. Treat it as a combination of your website and other social media platforms that both need to be updated regularly. Google search algorithms pay attention to how often photos, products, services, and updates are made to your business profile. Therefore, you should add photos and updates at least one to two times per week. FYI, some social media scheduling platforms can connect and post to Google Business Profile updates, so take advantage when you can. In addition, check your whole business profile and update anything that has changed, either monthly or quarterly, because details are bound to change. Lastly, do not forget to request Google Reviews. Find and copy your Google Review link. Keep it in a special place on your computer and your phone and send it out after each successful project. This part does feel hard, but a standard email template or text message that you can copy paste makes this a whole lot easier. To review, there are at least 10 things to pay attention to. Ensure you know which account you used to create your Google business profile and ensure you have the password. Create your business profile as soon as possible so you start getting noticed by Google search. Ensure your personal information stays private and treat it like another social media platform that you need to maintain. If you want help with this or anything else in your Google workspace, connect with me for a 15 minute clarity call or schedule some VIP sessions so we can work together. All the links are below. If this video was helpful, please like and share this video with other small business owners so they too can become more efficient and empowered with Google solutions and make time and space for what they value most.